again, this is Robert with Go Engineer Technical Support Department doing some more Quick Tips videos. Uh, we're going to do a three part series here talking about mold tools and how to use them. I'll just break it up into simple pieces so you can review them easily. Uh, today I've got on the screen an over large shirt button, about two inches in diameter, and we're going to learn how to make a mold for this part. Realistically, for cheap buttons and something this large you'd probably you know cut out the holes or drill them out but we're gonna include them in our mold because it makes for good examples so we'll just launch right into it uh, mold tools is part of standard SolidWorks we need to just turn it on so we've got our uh, command manager up here with all of our tabs if you don't have mold tools you can right click and select mold tools to turn it on and we've got all of our buttons. All of these buttons here are for surface modeling. If for some reason you need to create your own uh, cutoff sur or shutoff surfaces manually, you can have those tools ready to go. The next two sections are about creating uh, a draft or resizing your part in preparation for making molds. And then this last section talks or is tools for uh, creating your parting line, shut off surfaces, parting surfaces, basically everything that actually makes up a real mold. So let's take a look. We're going to launch straight into draft analysis because we won't need to make our own shut off surfaces. Essentially you work from left to right. So the first thing you want to do is do a draft analysis and this just tells you whether or not your part is prepared to be made into a mold. You can set a degree tolerance. I'm just going to set a one degree depending on your application you might need to set that higher this first parameter is direction of pull you're just going to pick a planar surface and the normal two direction is going to give you the direction that this part will be pulled out of the mold and you can see we have been color coded positive draft green means that it is correctly drafted in that direction red means that it is a negative draft which might mean that it's okay might mean that it's not you can see that we've kind of got a, a natural parting surface here and so I don't feel too bad about these reds the yellow is what we really don't like because it means that it doesn't re it doesn't uh, meet the draft requirements in either direction this face is vertical so I'm gonna click OK and that's gonna leave the color coding on and then we're going to actually add a draft now you could add this draft because I made these holes with a cut I could actually edit the feature and add a draft to the cut here and actually draft it but um, most of the time you're, you're probably not going to have it in a single feature you'll have several faces you'll just want to choose so we're going to choose draft again you give it a uh, an angle tolerance here so I'm going to set it to one degree and you pull choose a direction of pull they call this a neutral plane. So there we go. I'm going to choose that same face. And now you're going to choose faces to draft. So we want these yellow faces to be drafted. So I choose them. And I click OK. And now they've turned green. And that's because they now meet the requirements. If I go to a normal two view on this top face and zoom in, you can see that's the top edge. That's the bottom edge of that cut. And you can see it because it's drafted by one degree now. Normally you would just see one edge. So we know that it's been drafted. If you wanted to account for shrinkage in your part, you might use a tool like Scale. It starts with one. If you have 1% shrinkage, then you would want to grow your part by 1%. You would say 1.01. .01. That multiplies the size of the part by 0 0.01 or adds 0 0.01 to the total volume of the part and you can choose uh, a point to scale it about generally centroid will be well enough for you and you can't really see it grow very much so I'm going to edit that feature and I'm going to make it really big so you can see the growth I'm going to make it 2 and you can see that the part grows for this model I don't really need that so I'm going to right click and I'm going to delete my scaling feature in the next video, we'll talk about splitting lines and parting lines in preparation to set up your shutoff surfaces and parting surfaces. This has been Robert with Go Engineer, Technical Support Department. Have a great day.